Welcome back to the PGL RMR here in Europe. Apologies for the technical difficulties, but they do happen, and we've got them sorted. We're ready to go. Vitality versus Eternal Fire finally set to start here on Dust 2. We'll see what they have up their sleeve for Eternal Fire. My name is Dinko, John by Sponge as we head into the pistol. Sort of aggressive on Cat here, gonna have a fight or two. Oh, Masuda peeks in, Flash is good, but still can't manage the pick. Masuda got a little glimpse of that, and Zai will force it away. So Vitality have to deal with the disadvantage early with Eternal Fire picking up that kill that can slow things down. Yeah, well, this is going to look good for the mid round now. A bit more utility on X-Flower for this one, and well, that USP in the hands of Amora is going to sing. Zai Wu down, another body hits the deck, and they're looking for Dupree now, who's caught between Ooh. a rock and a hard place. Has to think about the tunnel play. Utility coming over the top of it. Flash connects on Dupree. Once he looks back, he's trying to catch them as they cross, as they move up before the smoke. That gives him a chance on a Calyx. So, spots out the bomb, is able to take one pick. And now Dupree trying to get through the window. Doesn't want to commit too far into that fight alone. He would be destined to die. And now more holding off the flank. Might actually try and get around the backside. Absolutely will find the chance on Apex. His oh. headshot is good, and the follow-up from Amor. It is now just Dupree. For the ace. And he's trying to get out the door. Dupree with a headshot brought down. Amor not able to get all five. Dupree denies that chance, but winning the pistol, impossible now for Vitality. Eternal Fire will have their first. Yeah, beautiful stuff. And obviously, we cast them yesterday on Overpass. They had that game on Vertigo that went the distance against Dignitas. It'd be great to see the Turkish side here starting off in a competitive fashion because they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with FaZe, who is the team that Vitality played within their second round that matchup was a 16 14 right so counter strike maths means that vitality should be able to run away with a quick one here but i'm all looking happy today wasn't too happy after their uh, matchup a big smile on the face and that's what you want to see finds an opening finds the impact and single-handedly secures eternal fire that pistol round now it's about the conversions if you didn't join us for the pre-show which was some time ago now we were discussing that these uh, not for water. Yeah, the, the cordial in the mix <laughs> as well. But uh, about the type of round needing to convert. If they're going to grab the pistol, they need to convert into the second. They need to make sure that they do win the rounds that they should, right? And this is a very difficult round to win right here against Vitality. Two scouts for Zywu and Apex, respectively. The rest are into... Ooh, Deagles. And oh. there's an opening for Amor again. He's really on a heater early. Two rounds, two openings. Yeah, he is fired up, ready to go. Very aggressive player. We've seen that yesterday. And this time, cracks open the BA long play, rather. And I think this is a map that Eternal Fire can feel relatively comfortable on. It's their highest win percentage map. Uh, it's one of their lowest played. It's in the bottom three, but their highest win percentage. And two of the stars of the team actually find good stats on this one as well. Woxic and Zantares. Uh, the double scout play towards Carr. Oh, sorry, Whoop. It was spotted here, so they know that he's in position. A quick change up, but Apex instead will play from Carr. So... We'll side we're a little further back on the right side. Apex is getting a lot of chances Couple to take down this here. peak. And Walksix just going to stay in the open. Apex able to get away with a kill. And now the rest of Eternal Fire come out long. Yeah, if you can't clear him from car, you just have to smoke and then take this fight right here. And if they do, there's still two players over towards A. Actually, they're rotating they're away rotating right away, now. Yeah. I, I think Apex feels that he's done enough to send them packing. But that's not the case whatsoever. They're setting up the smokes right now. You can see that being lined up. Apex... Towards the top of sight here, we'll be able to take the fight from safety, and here it comes. Now they come around Another the tag. Apex is softening them up, the flash into the peak. Oh! Apex gets away with a headshot and a more, and now his teammates need to come over and help. He's bought some time. Zywu is going to be smoked off at the cross. He goes in for the no-scope, and Apex still alive somehow on 2 HP towards Gandalf. So now they move forward into the site. 17 seconds left. Peek out is x Flad will finally remove Apex. They try and boost over the top of the smoke. Short says Antara is starting to land, but 10 seconds here for Eternal Fire. They have to commit to the plant, and they will get it down. Another kill for x Flout as we bring the numbers back to the advantage for Eternal Fire. But Dupree is on the flank. And they're not, not ready, but the shot from Magus, so still they don't know about the short play forward. Magus goes down, but they're not ready for Dupree. And unfortunately, will not be able to land his shots. Oh, a couple of wobbly moments there, wasn't it? But they do get past the keeper right there and pick up their second consecutive. Now it's about the third and what should be the easiest round of play so far for the Turkish side. So good stuff. But Eternal Fire out the gates here. Started well, right, but then they were just getting pipped, right? You can see Apex here just taking pot shot after pot shot. There's a lot of damage, but his teammate's not able to connect anything too lethal. You get that nice shot from Magic onto x Flower, but he was dead to rights regardless. Because you can see Dupree on that flank up. Cat, utility towards Xbox early here. Apex is going to slink in towards lower. They've actually upgraded into some P250s and Deagle for good measure. Zywe wants to get that AWP out. It's not going to buy anything at all. And here's Apex again. The thorn in the side right now. Able to make these lighter buy rounds at least seem slightly threatening, but long control garnered once more. And as they saunter up long in position, the flash is forward. It's just USP, and it can't get anything done. But Apex again.
<laughs> Just another one. Always finding at least a bit here, Apex. He's trying to find our cross to the side. Oh, kill for Zantara. It's easy over the top of the smoke, but he's very low. Not want to be caught by the P250. Even jumping could have found the kill there, but man, just you know, dropping away. His teammate's no longer with him. Yeah, patches within these last two rounds that have felt competitive, felt that it could have gone the other way here, but Eternal Fire able to uh, mop up the mess, grab themselves the three consecutive, and a fantastic start here for them in this map of Dust 2. This is the 1-1 category. In case you did miss the star, you wouldn't be too familiar with where we're at. We're still in the best of ones right now to start off the day. Need to start sorting these teams, sifting through, right, looking for the goal, trying to see who sticks on out from the rest. On the way out the door, walks it, collects the life of Magis. Because we now go 3-0, Eternal Fire off to an absolute Hedra star. We'll see a Vitality can answer back now. They've got the rifles out. They've got the AWP out for Zywoo. Now, Long has been the name of the game for Eternal Fire in a couple of these back-to-back -back rounds. Taking a look at the spawns, uh, they don't have the best of to go all in towards that position. And I assume they're going to want to boost Woxic up mid with this AWP quite consistently. He's quick as old Woxic, so the tags on the cross could be something he looks for here. Not going to be boosted, just going to peer on through, seeing what he can find. Magisk has just found a kill in mid. Just takes the fight no more, trying to scale up Cat quickly. That's an opener. Happy with that vitality. Now they can slow it down here, Eternal Fire, but the problem is, yeah, being a player down, you kind of want to pull that back. Alex seeing what he can find towards Lawn, but it was a warning shot of Zywoo rattling through that long smoke. He's decided to alleviate pressure, and now Zantara has moved through mid. Maybe he can find the kill back, but Apex hears it, spams it. Oh, so close, but Zantara's at least stays up on five. Very threatening right now from Eternal Fire. Pressure mid and pressure cat. They've applied a lot here early to Vitality, but now they have the number advantage. Now you can see that damage onto Zantara as they have to sit on back and regroup for a bit of an execute here. One smoke remaining, a bunch of flashes. They do want to go through short. Zywoo is starting to re-aggress on this position. Absolutely into a dangerous spot. Falling back from here is the Norbert can be kind of difficult. So I would love to take this pick quickly and then drop on down. So I will remove the head of Calyx. Now a two advantage here for Vitality. They dropped that smoke as well. So if you want to go mid to B, what are you meant to do? Right? You're going to go out without any utility to smoke off that CT spawn. You still have Magisk and Dupree locking down B. Masuda towards long as well here. 30 seconds and maybe just maybe it should be the save call. You can see them backing all the way in towards T spawn here. So are going to hold on to their goodies and have another round of play in the next. There'll be enough money for Woxic to drop one across. You can get that AWP back from Centaurus. Kalyx should have enough to buy here as well. So no dramas in the purchase department, but that opened from Magisk right there, just standing and taking the fight, right? Eternal Fire, we're trying to scale quite quickly. We're trying to get away with a lot here in. Oh, I'm just going to park the buses. x flight over towards Suicide. Apex is having a look to see if he can do any damage, but four, three, two, one, and everybody should be retaining what they have. So all five staying alive for Vitality here. But a great response after the pistol round and the conversions coming through from the Turkish side. So a uh, good start early, but right now is where we get to see who separates themselves from the pack. Vitality by winning another gun round, they're going to set themselves up, force the tonal fight into a position where they either, either have to force by or take a bit of a save. So a pivotal round here early. The problem last round is they just get stifled very early, losing to more. So for a tonal fight, they're going to try and open up the round with a little boost down to spot the mid doors. It wasn't. It's kind of late too, wasn't it? So, so they have to be worried about lower dark here. Oh, maybe even short as well, Masuta. He can get a spotter on that jump. He can, and or might have even been. Walksick about to play forward and focuses on the angle. Utility being tossed down into lower tunnel, and Vitality realized holding that for a long period of time likely to result in death, so they're going to drop back. Yeah, good bit of softening there. Chip damage to Zantaris down to 70 points of health. Makes him susceptible to that one shot with the M4 to the dome right here. Another smoke deployed towards long. So this is going to hold Calyx at bay as the default spread of Eternal Fire has this short space again. Now, the fact that they're being given this, if you can get everybody up, if you can go undetected, you could go for a bit of a set piece. And Tara's just flashing, peeking, trying to bait out some utility here. Want to make sure that they don't have too many smokes and molotovs to store you on out. But Apex, he's not budging. He's not giving anything up right now. Lining up the avant-garde smokes, one towards the top of elevator, one on the bridge. And they can take this fight here if they'd like, but they're not grouped up. So this is a fake right now. And the problem is, if they want to do a second wave of these same smokes, they, they don't have two. They've only got one. Ooh. Masuda a chance. Masuda does get the opportunity. Kalix out of the round. So Vitality once again have the first kill of play. And Zywu, he's there to back up this A long hold. So for Eternal Fire, what is your option now? 
Gone through the mid towards perhaps into Dupree. Well, they've won that fight somehow. Dupree has not taken it, so Magix moves forward. Able to remove X Flower. And now we're trying to fight with 19 seconds left in this timer. Need to figure out how to get into the site. Apex has the cross from middle, but walks it holds for the aggression. And now Magix towards the back of the site. He looks strong enough to hold this. He will hold it down in the bomb. Now loose, not enough time here for Warksick to win the round. And so the AWP has to be saved. The second round now for Vitality. Yeah, it looked good. They just had to get past Magis there, right? Because Warksick doing a bit of Jame cosplay, just looking down the mid-door rotations with that AWP, making sure nobody gets past. But liking how that one went on down, a solid performance there from Vitality. And you're right, it came with another opener. So easy stuff, good utility usage to store out, stall out any of the games that Eternal Fire were hoping to play. And that conversation I was having earlier was about the type of fight that Eternal Fire can have going forward. Do they want to force behind the saved AWP? Or do they want to take a bit of a light investment? It appears light investment is on the docket. And Magisk has been tagged early here, so that AWP already profiting. Bit of damage done. Oh, oh. shot. What? Zai was barely alive. I think it was through the wood. You can see the bullet actually through the edge of the wall there. So Zai Wu takes. A lot of damage, but not enough to take him out. This is a very scary round now. Zywoo low, Magus the same. So some problems potentially here for Vitality. Apex's position is good. There's no flash to be seen here to get them off the iron door. So they're going to have well, to walk dry. The bomb just walks out first. Yeah, bomb down. And that's going to be separated off by the incendiary as well. So Apex goes into the fight, separates them, severs off the support oh. network. And the nade is so good. A lot of utility damage for Apex in this round. And now Kallax and x where well, you can't really expect to get too much out of this one. So Vitality, you're going to tie this one up. Yeah, it was a good start to the round with all that damage, right? But, oh, there you go. That's the Glock range. You can see exactly <laughs> how that damage can be turned into profit. Kallax gets one, and he's going to try and get himself in towards the side. There's an orb to pick on up here. Uh, it's, the issue is it's just the Glock, right? If he had anything else, he could take a bit more of a fight. There's 40 seconds left. x is going to be denied at the doors as well. If you can get another pick here, not too bad. With the Glocks, though, this is the crazy part. So X-Flight's going to come over, and they're going to try and be in tandem here. If they can get this AWP back, time the problem again. Dupree, ah, he's going to clean out one, and Masuda going to do the same. So moments, patches there that look good for Eternal Fire. Just a little bit unfortunate they walk the door with the bomb. And so uh, never how you want that one to go. It's kind of setting the rounds up, because if you're Warksick at that point, you have to take the fight. You don't get to play out the round a little bit more. The bomb's down. You, you can't just hang around. So, uh... Drama's early, but Eternal Fire will get back into a buy. Woxic is going to work with the baby off the scout, see if he can find similar damage as he just did. And uh, they're slow to these boosts if they want to run them, but smoke was up anyway, so they're going to push on through it. And, ooh, a flash to get Zyro off. That gives information as to where the AWP starts this round, and actually very quick here for Eternal Fire scaling up short. Yeah, well, they start a Magisk over towards this A side of things, and they just have cat control immediately. If they can regroup and get the smokes and go, you've got one on Woxic, one on Amore, they can set this up for the A execute. They've been posturing with it. They've been toying with it, but they haven't committed behind it just yet. This might be the time where we actually see them follow on through. x Flat to lurk through the lower dark for congregating on Cat right now, but there's a conversation being had. Maybe some indecision. Not quite deciding where they want to land just yet. Oh, and on the leg there, Zantara's drops in towards Zywoo's light of sight. He's getting peppered now. Now, with Eternal Fire, you have to keep track of where the bomb is. It is on the back of Kallax at the moment. A minute left. Now they drop down. Zai removes him more. And Zai was going to be continuing to hold for the mid peak, but just one for him goes. Missed shot this time. Forced away from the Ironclad. Oh, oh Apex connects to the headshot. Luckily makes up for it. Couple of kills out of his rifle as we now hit the 45 second mark. Warksick and Next Flower just seeing what they can do, but they're just leaping to their deaths. Vitality are doing a great job at just one by one, removing some of the forces here for Eternal Fire, and it ends up making their late rounds pretty limp. Yeah, I, I want to talk about that opening from Eternal Fire. They're quite clear that they want to be quick down mid and onto Cat. So what they're doing is they're dropping a bit of a trickle nade as we get the TCAV Apex right there. That's quite funny to see. Uh, a trickle nade, right, to use the smoke that blooms to make sure that Zywoo can't go for a pick. But if you just take a wider line, they still have to scale towards Catwalk, right? The Xbox smoke, not going to deny that vision too early. And, uh, oh, this is aggressive. Up very, the mid, yeah. Very aggressive. And it's worked out for Apex Magic. They'll happily collect those. Gets pistols as well. It's on fire once again. Just dampened at the start of the round. Yeah, Woxic invested in a scout here. I, I, I think is he hoping a teammate will give him an AWP in the next round to play. The loss bonus is going to be maxed on out. Oh, Apex the Orper. Just standing and taking a fight uh, on low HP here. So this one, that was going to be five consecutive rounds here for Vitality. This is more like it.
Yeah, very clean stuff. Hexloud left now alone. Scout in hand to see if he can rattle a few shots on the way out the door, but Vitality, no, they've got this one. Isn't it strange, though, that a lot of these rounds have come down to the last 30 seconds, but it feels quick? Yeah, it's because the round is done in the first few seconds. Sure. But it, it just it burns slowly out, right? Sure. It has a little bit of kindling left, carried on over, but Vitality are getting the impact kills in the early round. It just takes out the sting. I'm curious if there will be an orb drop for, for Woxic here. The only one who could do it would be Kallax, and he will, which means Kallax won't have any utils. So he's going to be AK head armor. Woxic will have the nades. He can actually donate those if he just wants to wield this AWP. But let's see if they can set something up that's a little bit more stable as a default. Because what they're doing right now is risk versus reward. The reward is early space, but the risk is early damage or death. So that could be a problem or two. Back towards long, trying to get on out here. Flashes out for Zantaras. It's Masuda with the first headshot. Zantaras locked out and now Dupree. He's taking a position with multiple players here for Vitality. And it's getting real hot and heavy for a moment. Has to try and cross out, but Dupree spots him and goes back for the headshot. Good start to the rounds here for Vitality, and once again, Eternal Fire handed a huge disadvantage at the start of the round. Oh dear. Okay, well, three on five. So I'm saying he's got that, no problem. You're going to peek dry into mid, you're going to go down to Zywin, no problem. And now Kallax and Woxic left, and the flank for <laughs> Dupree around the back. He's got both of them, doesn't he? Oh, nearly. One off to Woxic, Kallax will be Apex's bright. And six rounds now for Vitality. Yeah, this is looking way too easy for Vitality early, right? Six consecutive rounds now. The last two, all five staying alive. The long spawns played a big component of Eternal Fire being able to get the early rounds on the board here. It looks like they're going to start investing into a half by Scout again for Woxic, a Mac 10 invested for Zantara, some Deagles to supplement that. And, oh, they need to get something going here because there's 10k on... 10k or more on, on four players. Dupree just bought something out the door to make that one uh, incorrect. So thanks, Dupree. <laughs> just a couple of dollars off now in Masuta. Often they've been getting him into the pit, but a bit more of a passive setup. They didn't get into the pit side. So actually a bit of control here for Eternal Five, but whether or not they'll be able to do anything with it is another story. Zywu now patrolling towards Long. Apex set up a car in this combo oh. a couple of times, and uh, maybe that's why Woxic's ready for it. Headshot straight away onto Apex. Okay, well, a number advantage, but a weapon discrepancy here, and do they only have one smoke for the cross? x is the only one with that $300 piece of utility, which <laughs> it would if they had another, it'd be perfect. You're going to have to them... jump. Yeah, so this is going to become... This, this is long cross on extreme difficulty right now. Nightmare mode for the boys from Eternal Fire. Look at the reaction here for Vitality as well. They've moved into middle, they've taken lower tunnel. They absolutely know now what the play is going to be. And there's another key right now. They've kept three incendiaries. So even if they do cross long, they can either smoke, uh, so they can either molly the ramp or molly the site to deny the plant. So as time trickles off the clock, little do Eternal Fire know this is working against them. There's one. Well, they're walking into a trap perfectly laid for them. They're gonna need some Miracles here, and maybe more going through the smoke. Could, could an opportunity with a jumping Mac 10. It has to be. Thank you very Perfect. much. But Zywu, he'll collect that. No problem. Masuda swings out. He will go down to Woxic Scout. For 28 oh. seconds. Life decks Loud Deagle has cracked open a skull, and now we're down to a 2v2. 23 seconds left. Zywu searching for the pick. Dupree around the long side. The flank again has taken out Woxic. X Flower jumps up into the open. And Zywu will find him, but that's not as clean as we expected for Vitality. A couple of kills on the way out the door there for Eternal Fire. Yeah, good stuff, though, from Eternal Fire. You like to see the shots that they're hitting, and this long control seems to be name of the game. So we need to keep our eyes on the spawns. Eternal Fire are going to call themselves a tactical timeout to have this conversation. Now, if I have a little bit of a look, I can let you all know that Kallax has the best long spawn, right? He's able to be set up to push on out here. But the way that this is being dealt with by Vitality so far, they're mollying, they're spamming through, they're making sure that they're going to take as much damage as possible while trying to grab that control. There's a great shot here from Woxic. This is uh, creative from Amor, right? I know, it, I know it seems a little bit odd, but when they only had one smoke, what they did there was nice. He actually peeled into it and pushed forward. He could have dealt with any CT players. It just unfortunately for him, there was nobody CT. So what do you do? Well, you try and make the most out of that Mac 10. You can understand the thought process there. But Eternal Fire likely thinking what we're thinking. Long, name of the game. He's going to need a lot of flashes here to help him get on out. And the problem is I only see four flashes invested in so far. So they're not going to have everything they need for a late wave. Apex, Masuda heading towards Long. Zywu to try and set them up to lock this down. 
This could be a fight early. Kalix running out with a better spawn, but Masuda straight away to the headshot. But they've continued. They've continued to run through, and they will continue to die. Yeah, the fact that they're getting denied at that point, Masuda is doing a great job of being very disparaging. That just sends them tail between the legs. I think they think there's probably four players long. It was just two with a couple of flashes. You go out mid to B, you're still going into this tunnel play. And look at Dupree. He's oh. in T-spawn right now. He's not even going to be needing an element as part of this because they just get picked apart at the seams right here. Another one dead. They're all down. And Dupree's just gone, boys, I was going to get a couple kills in the back here. It was all the way through to T-Spawn. Wasn't even necessary. I think he's had his fair share of flying kills now. Uh, Zaiwu to a short, you could even hear us immediately once that long hit doesn't work out. Zaiwu's in a position to hear all the steps as they run back down in mid. He's calling that for his team to get at the ready. Able to walk away with a good headshot here as well. Look at that. Just straight away. And more jumps up on the Xbox. Oh. Goes down. And obviously Apex ready for the smokes. Fans. Of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, I think right now, if you're Eternal Fire, you're thinking, boys, we just need to get the bomb down in the last spree of rounds. We're talking eight consecutive rounds now for Vitality. Have they been out of their half of the map? It doesn't feel like it, right? Other than getting that long control, right? They haven't been able to get our way with a whole lot here. So, and the thing is, it's been quite flux, their play style. It's been aggressive, it's been quick. They're trying to be overreactive. They're not like letting the game come to them when they have number standard advantages. Well, Amora's just decided to run through the mid doors and it has caught Apex sleeping a little bit. Now alert to Dupree to try and defend from the doorway as Magnus can Dupree. This is their side. Good luck trying to get through that. What the hell? What, what can you do about that? This is very heads up Counter-Strike being played right now. It's so fast. You're not even making them make mid-round decisions. You're not even making them question where the attack is. They're just going. You're then just inviting them to duel against yeah. you individually, and you're not going to win that too often. Uh, and more, yeah, has some great aim, catches off Apex, but you pull them out. Kalix with three that. flash assists on his teammates there. Yeah. That's, that's all you need to know, isn't it? Really? And we caught a lot of that yesterday as well. Some team flashing going on an overpass. There's an opener. That's very chaotic right are, now. Are they going to continue this fast pace, or are they going to try and slow it down and play out of mid-rounds? Because I think they're trying to play ahead right now of Vitality. And oh, oh, well, give it away. And more just jumps into the open, and Zaiwu will collect his life. So we're back to the equilibrium again. So Eternal Fire had the advantage, could have perhaps slowed it down. Watch Dupree, mate. He's up close and personal for this, and they have a two-man push on towards Cat as well. They're clamping down on mid. Yeah, they can set up a distraction to allow Dupree to be more potent as well. But now moving up to the open, what is it confused as hell? Why are they in the open? Why are they just fighting? And well, Eternal Fire, they're getting toyed with right now. Calyx left, out towards the long side. He is just sprinting his way up long. The bombs drops in middle. And a minute and five seconds left for Calyx. Now they start to consider his positions, confirm his spot. They even land the shot. So he's down to 26. Trying to tap away. Close to it, but Zywood just re peeks into the shot. Ten rounds now for Vitality. And Eternal Fire, they're not finding any of the answers. What a great showing, though, from Vitality, right? They're just playing really nice, cohesive Counter-Strike. They're locking down the key choke points of the map here. They're hitting all the necessary shots that they need. And they're regrouping within the mid-rounds. And they're doing things as a team, right? You've got Dupree close mid. There's a two-man short push here. We know that we've lost the players. Zywoo's not afraid of anybody. He will take an orb duel against the best of them. Because well, he is the best of yeah, them. Yeah, he is. And uh, we, we actually, you know, we had a little issue when it came to the, the tech issue today. But uh, now we're at a point where... We might be back on schedule. We might be pretty damn close. This is 10 consecutive rounds right now for Vitality without a single plan coming in for Eternal Fire. Well, they're going B this time, Chad. Well, if they set up a nice little piece here, right? You can smoke doors, smoke window, molly close left. Maybe even go for a lurk smoke if you'd like. A couple of flashes in towards the fence position. And away you go. But look at this stance. Magis back a plat. Dupree up close. And Zywoo ready to rotate quickly here. They might just lock this one down before it begins. Oh, Magis at the ready. Dupree holds close. This spray down available here for Magis. You can just tuck up. Go down. Utility's going to make things a bit hot and heavy. He's burning inside of it right now. He will go down. But it has set up enough of a distraction for Dupree to get the double. Now Zywoo has got in for the rotation. Preemptive on the shot, misses it, and actually can't exactly re peek into the window. They might get a plant here, though. It looks good. Smoke down for the doors. Certainly should be able to come away with a plant at least. Tower is locking that in. But look at the flank now coming through the tunnel side from Masuda this time. They can pull enough distraction away. He would be able to get in behind, and then they can push in from three sides. So holding on to this is going to be very difficult for Eternal Fire. 
They are considering that tunnel play now, and Santara's holding for it. The D work, the ready, but Masuda quick to the shot. Apex with a follow, and that will be Vitality on 11 rounds. Yeah, a couple of jitters there. They just double smoke doors. Imagine if they had deployed one of those smokes towards upper tunnels, right? Then they could have definitely just lo locked in on that window choke point. It would have forced a bit of a harder retake there out of Vitality, but flustered. It was a lighter buy from Eternal. They were trying their luck, but as we mention it, right, 10 consecutive rounds without the bomb going down, they finally changed that tune. There was no Lurk Smoke, which meant that Magis there could just stand and fight, right? If there's a Lurk Smoke in play, then it could be a little bit more mystery but between what's going on behind that. But uh, this is all good in the hood. And another timeout called here, the second of which within this first half of play. Eternal Fire going to be having a discussion because a fourth, it'll give them a little bit of confidence. It'll give them something to work with in the second half. But at the moment, it is not looking good. We're not going to uh, try and sugarcoat this one. It has just been an absolute domination station after the pistol with the conversions. Well, Eternal Fire have gone up against two elite sides over the last it's two days. true. Phase it is true. And Vitality. Uh, pretty similar results in both. Over on the A stream, 17 to 16 right now in an oh. overtime affair on Dust 2 between Fours and OG. Uh, they're having a long one over there, Chad. We've been hearing them screaming through the walls. Obviously, we had a, a few technical words before we could get this underway, and it sounded like a banger of a game. So good to see a bit of uh, resistance coming up against one of those cusp teams, Fours versus OG. But let's see what can get done here. Woxic has taken the big green over towards the upper tunnels, looking for a pick on a player playing platform. They've smoked off towards that tunnel position, and they're actually playing a bit more of a retake setup here from outside the site. And just now, we'll jump on forward, try and grab himself a bit of space, and guess what? They're going to make their way down through the lower tunnel, so maybe a B split here, but look at this. Apex to tuck on in real close. Flash is covers, and Tyus now crosses towards Xbox. Flash about to head out. the time on the short take here. This is a bit more space than Eternal Fire used to in. getting, but Masuda is about to go and claim it back. Flash into the peak hasn't resulted in the pick here from Masuda, but he's still holding his ground. They're going to have to use more utility if they want to get him out, but they go back this time. Santaris here as the Flash realizes the players come forward, but have been in that cubby and tucked away, so Dupree has to pull it oh! back, and he gets himself a double. Bomb now loose in Eternal Fire. A little bit of stress now in their short play. They have to consider, is there anybody else towards CT side in Apex? Well, he's lurking around this area. He's still around this position, and Woxic wants to claim his away. life. He will force the life out of Apex. And now with 35 seconds left, Eternal Fire have a shot at a round win. Well, you know that Zyra was A. You know the AWP was on the A site. Do you really want to press the issue into his bomb site here? He's over towards Long. He's out of the play right now, hoping for a late lurk, but he's allowing them into the site. This will bring Magiskin to the play here. Can start to rotate over. Nothing over towards B as they creep and crawl their way into the domain. They have a couple of smokes to work with, a couple of HEs as well. They can set themselves up for a strong post plant here, Eternal Fire. Zywoo. Kind of towards the long side, just hoping for that overextension on the side of the smoke. That would be a big kill to drop back. But they seem to be aware of that possibility. Zantara sets up a deeper one. Zywoo not giving any chances right now. He's worried about it. Oh, so quick to the headshot for Sai Wu. X Flout stays in the open. Match is getting closer and closer to the site. The rifle shooting the move next here. Then this smoke starts to fade away. Centaurus will be into the fight, and Magic's going to remove him. Now it's just Woxic to try and clutch this one out. Bitchy goes on it. Could be good. Oh, it is good. It will remove Magic, but again. The time, it's the defuse being stuck. I was holding this one, but Woxic swings and Eternal Fire. They are able to pick it up. Okay, well, four. They've been able to pick up a round. They're breaking, breaking. They've broken this streak of 11 rounds up until this point. The pistol was a more with four kills. They get the conversion where Apex was looking great on the sky. He was looking great on the P250 in the follow up. But eventually, the floodgates open and it's just one way traffic for this half. Seems like closing should be quite easy now. For the Vitality side, this is a very good showing. 16 kills for Magis, Apex on 13. You've got 14 kills total for Dupree, 11 for Zywoo, and Masuda on there, and 7 on the other side. Scores the doors for Woxic, 10 kills. 6 apiece for the likes of Zantaras and Amor. 4 for Kalix and 5 for x -Flood. Now, that's kind of, that kind of sucks a bit when you mention it for Amor, right? He had 4 of those 6 kills on the pistol round. So, everybody cooling off for Eternal Fire after that hot start out the gates, but... Let's see if they can find some resistance here. Zantara is aggressive straight in towards the lower dark. Taking a fight. Has some flashes on that belt buckle. So actually willing to get stuck on him with you two. Willing to just fight in mid. Zantara looks to crack open the pistol here for Eternal Fire. But Kalix is actually moving with him. 
They're staying very far forward here, aren't they? They really want to take a fight. And they could get crunched from lower tunnel, but Kallik seems to be aware of that. Straight away to the headshot. Magic's down. And now, Sai Wu looking to pull it back for the P250. Hasn't been given the chance. Eternal fight, a little bit more disciplined here, not giving away that pick. Kallix looks to be flashed into the iron call and will fight versus Sai Wu. Comes out on top of it. Dupree finally forcing the issue through the mid doors. Has at least forced him further back into CT spawn, but Kallix still standing in his position. Ooh, just tucked out here. Now, dropping and changing P250 in Masuda's hands now. Oh, they peek now. Masuda tries to open it up. Charging forward. Vicious intent it is Vitality. Try and get through short sides. The tower is immediately to the headshot. A teammate oh. down below him is Kallax able to double up. These two players doing everything right now. Apex tries to make it happen, but in the end, it's just a single kill for Vitality. Well, looking sharp on the pistols on their eternal fire, that's both of them picked up. And once again, it comes with these conversions. These are musts. If they want to be competitive in this matchup, if they want to bring this one back to a respectable scoreline, they have to convert right now against Vitality, who are yet to go all in for the force, but they might just take the save and purchase into the next round of play. Get those AKs out in round number 18. But it's quite clear and a positive sign, right? If you're an Eternal Fire fan, the fact that they were able to play aggressive there and they didn't back down, they didn't turtle up. They actually backed their individuals, they backed their aim, and they picked up a couple of lovely shots, especially for the man on your screen right here, Kallix, who's smoked off towards long. Playing with this M4 to deny any of the territory and aware that with the timing of the way that they've approached this, they could have slipped over towards the blue bin. But... They're just taking a bit of a French timeout here, Vitality. Bit of an existence classic. Going to sit back, wait out the early util, force the rebuys into the next. And I think one of the positives for Eternal Fire is that they invested into four rifles. So next round, assuming they don't lose many bodies, and I don't think they will, they're not going to have to worry about dealing with AKs when they only have SMGs. All right, so if we're looking at positives here, this would be a good one for them. And it's the CT side of Dust too. Stranger things have happened. That is very true. I think Eternal Fire feel much more comfortable on the defensive side of things too, so we'll see if they're able to mount a comeback. Vitality would love a bomb plant out of this round. They're going to come up through short. Sometimes you can get away with a plant if you just charge through short here, and the first player contact does not really hit the shot, so here we go. Watching and Zan Taras, though, not having any problems in taking this one down. Eternal Fire. We'll not lose a single player. Vitality, get nothing out of it. Beautiful. And that's what you want, right? Keep everybody alive. Now you've got some extra cash for the next round, even if you are to lose this one. And you're well aware that the AKs are coming out. So your game plan going into this should be structured around that. Locking down long might want to be one of the first things on your agenda. Masuda has an okay-ish long spawn here. As the T's uh, have a big chunk of their players with heavy B spawn. So you might just see them go into a bit of a default spread here. Masuda dropping down quite quickly. Throws the Molotov towards the mid doors. That would dissuade any of those lower dark plays. And Xbox smoke as well. And they're actually going to apply a lot of pressure towards B early here. This might be a pretty quick B split here, Dinko. They could set up in lower, smoke towards the mid doors, explode onto B with numbers. And it wouldn't be a bad call considering the setup right now out of Eternal Fire. That, oof. Short nade says a lot. It also tells them that there might be a bit of a mid-preference right now from Eternal Fire to lock down against that. Okay, ready for this B-pop. Here they come. They're just coming in. Well, x Flat has already MP9. Able to get away with one. Immortal will back him up. And x Flat now throws down the incendiary. He's trying to slow it. USP pulled out. But Apex, Hold two up. lovely headshots. One and down to one single health point. Apex now crosses to the site. Commits to the plant at least a minimum. Confirmed of cash for the next round, but a one versus two doable, but very low. Apex is a wide fight, immediately one shot landed, and that removes him from play. Okay, well, uh, Vitaly trying to get this one done quickly, I think. Just a limp into B play was dealt with with ease. You could see how quick they made mincemeat of that tunnel's maneuver. The fact that Apex is able to get the bomb down, you're actually right. That there's, there's massive work right there. The issue with the fight he's taking, he cannot miss. He needs to get some Nico level one taps from that box right there because you can see how easy it is for Kallax as he rounds the corner. But a nice one to win and now just a four round game. Did say it was the CT side of Dust2 here. They win this one, which should be another, I don't want to say lock because you can see the light buys coming on through now and AK a scout and a couple of Deagles. This one could go wrong, but a round where Eternal Fight do have the advantage. Oh, ah. oh a lovely shot from Dupree. Ah. It's a rough start. Imor is going to be mad about that one for sure. Yeah. Never want to be locked out of the round immediately like that. And now watch the differences between how Vitality will play out this mid-round opposed to the way that Eternal Fire would when they would either stomach a death or be able to get an opening kill. 
They're going to take their time. They're going to understand what utility they have available to them here. They've got three smokes, a couple of flashes. Yeah, there's no panic, right? It, it's very considered here from Vitality. They think about all of their options now available to them. As Dupree begins to think about the back platform. Oh, oh no. The jump up gets tied, but he's got the big green. All he needs is one shot. Yeah, he could have got caught pants down juggling the guns there. So he's fortunate that he does convert that. But Dupree is going to be calling out that tag is in play. They can drop a Lurk Smoke, a Door Smoke, some Flashes and go, and the responder to help this will be Zentaris. He might be locked out from the play here. We'll need to assist, and looks like they were thinking about calling it off. There was a slight backpedal, but cancel that. The CT Smoke lands. That buys about 20 seconds now. Still those Smokes in play. Still those Flashes in play. He's going to use the M4 from backup plat here and go back over to the <laughs> AWP. So trying to seem bigger than he is right now, x -Cloud. Yeah, there's two people here. Absolutely trying to sell that, but X-Flower with the AWP, that is the bigger weapon now as he switches to the right for Good nade. Good throw in the G, it goes behind him, does tie on to Magis quite significantly. x doing well here to try and slow them down. Zantaris has come back and headshots will land for Zantaris. It's clean, he's like to the headshots and two players, yes, four for Eternal Fire. The big player there, X Flower holding down the B site. Yeah, great stuff from him. Really good stuff. And it was tricky business what he was doing. Yeah. Timing could have been the undoing of him with that initial exchange. Here's the shot from Dupree. Love Bang! It. Through the doors on the jump. You never want to stomach one of those if you're a more. So he's going to be frustrated about that. But his team, they bail them out in that number disadvantage. And now the buy's back in here for Vitality. 11 to 8. This lead is shrinking. It absolutely is. Eternal fire. They've got some legs to the CT defense. He's already going down towards long early. Dupree has decided to win it out. And now charged through with a smoke. Oh, nearly gets away with a double, but one already collected. And Dupree, intelligent take of long here. The smoke goes down to give them a corridor to get Zywu into the pit as well. Vitality taking long. And they do it swiftly. Yeah, well, Dupree still has this Molotov left over. They could use this to the car position. He's actually just juggled that across to Magisku. Could be the man to throw it. Hexlar doesn't have a, mol uh, a smoke here to... Get rid of that either, so he will be in a tough spot close towards Car. Zantaris could do it for him, but uh, they're not going to molly. I they're think just he's going to die here. I think he's just absolutely going to go down very quickly. X flat. Oh, what? How do you don't even see Masuda in that position? He's just completely ready for it. Headshot down. X flat out. And well, two players out for a tonal five. Puts him down to the three v five. Is now Vitality to use flashes to cross. Walks it goes to the peak out. The teammate Zantaris has been locked out of the round by Dupree. So. Wants a non-starter. It's completely clean for Vitality. And just to more on the other side of things, what can he do? I think Big were using that util set that you've just seen thrown out with that deeper, like mid-ramp CT smoke. It's like yeah. that Nut out here did in one of his recent videos. He's more trying to hold on to this AWP. But I'll talk through that util. They didn't actually combo it with the Molly. They just had the hard clear from Dupree. So what that uh, what that was was the smoke, and then a Molly would land, and the Molly would flush anybody out from that little cubby position that you'd see players be quite jarring in. So it's curious the way that was done. It's a bit of a different way to take long. Uh, I'm glad to see it getting adopted by more teams because I think that it, it is a way to chop and change things up. It's less resource heavy as well. You only need one smoke to try and make this one work. And with the way timing it lands and the way that the fight comes in, it is very quick. So great round here. Back into the winning ways on Vitality. Their first round on their attacking side of Dust2. Yeah, Eternal Fire has now gone to the reserves. They've brought out everything they can possibly manage. And Woksik has chosen the right position to start his round. A good peek to stop Masuda. And more up middle with a scout. He's connected the headshot onto Apex. So a two-man advantage already here for Eternal Fire. Yeah, getting a bit of revenge there on the scout up the mid doors is a more. And Setting the team up in a lovely little position now to close this one out and continue the back and forth nature of this series. Good to see them finding some pep in the step and it isn't just a blowout. The individuals of Eternal Fire now are starting to warm into the game, but still, Zaiwu alongside the Danish duo to close this one down. It's not going to be an easy task right now. I think that same smoke is being lined up from Magiskir again. It is. There's the molly. This is the combo set. Uh, flash is sent out, walks it under pressure as Kalix tries to spray on down through the deeper smoke. He actually hasn't been able to get around before they've all crossed. So walks it under a lot of pressure here. This nade could do a lot though. It could absolutely, but Kalix, he's gone into it. Two right for slide up, but he gets away with a triple. Vitality lose all three players in one foul swoop. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful well, stuff right there. And the fact that they take that fight, it shows that they're not afraid. They're not afraid to take these fights. You saw it on the CT pistol. You see it right there. Oh, they've got the space. Fine. We know exactly where you are right now. We're going to get stuck on in. A beautiful triple here from Kalix. 
pushing her up on that walk sec flush, and going to force Vitaly to feel a little bit squirmish. They're taking a timeout here, their first of which in this map. They're yeah. finally feeling the pressure. I think that last round, they, they were, okay, we get back to the rifles who win it with five players staying up. This is where we just close it out. But then Eternal Fire with a little snap back there. It started with that walk sec pick towards long, and Moy takes the risk in mid, able to come away with a good opening there for Eternal Fire. If you want to buy your tickets for the PGL Major in Antwerp, you can get them now with a QR code on screen. Just scan it. It'll bring you to the right place. You get your tickets. Or Google it. And you know what else you could do? Head over to YouTube. If you want to watch in 4K, you have the function to pause, rewind, just search PGL on YouTube, and you can watch in an alternative method. If you're watching on Twitch, maybe you want to try that one out. But here we go. And this is going to get very difficult now for Vitality. Very difficult. If they do not convert this round, just on the way out the door, they're too still. There's Hey Cheese left in spawn. If they try and do a slow default, oh, they're not. They're out long again. Woxic to deal with this. Woxic swings to the left side of the smoke once again, tries to open it up, but they countered that with the utility and have now boosted Dupree up on blue. Well, now they'll get this long control for free. You can see on the radar top left of your screen, the slink of orange now all starting co to congregate out towards long. Plenty of util, smokes, flashes, molotovs, everything they need to get across. But remember that util left in CT spawn. That can be used to harass the ramp, harass the plant, make sure that the bomb will not go down with ease. The amount of utility damage that Vitality could take here could be monumental right now for Eternal Fire. A great opportunity in this five on five to grab their double digits. Starting to use some of that utility. That Ned will signal that they don't know what's going on towards long. So Vitality realized Eternal Fire must be playing a relatively passive setup. If they're using this utility and burning it out, they have no idea how many forces of Vitality are at long. So Towers has the flash ready. As soon as plays anti flash ready to pop now, and Vitality signaling some pressure towards it, but haven't committed. And so now they've crossed back into the site here, Eternal Fire. So I was waiting for that overextension and Vitality just running this clock down. Finally, the P comes out. So I weren't able to land it. So I don't know if I get a little bit of uh, leeway there. Yeah, but they're trying to confirm information. Here comes the second wave of smokes. They better be ready for this one. Smokes are up and now Vitality ready to go. Masuta sent in on the charge. Hit some crispy shots yesterday. Would love to try and crack them open. Oh! to perfectly line it up. As Kalix sprays through a double headshot. And remember, Zatara's in the side as well, alongside Woxic, playing from short side. So Vitality, yes, it is signaled they are coming towards long. They have to and save. they can't get anywhere near the site. Ooh, that is a disaster there, Chad. Absolutely denied. No entry. No entry whatsoever. And you could see how diligent they were. The multiple layers of the smoke wall, right? They did it twice. The first was to bait all the U2. And they did a great job. They denied information off the swing. Zantares couldn't confirm how many were there. Couldn't get any damage done. But Kalix through the smoke, the absolute magician, gets Eternal Fire now up to the double digits. Watch that one back with style. And Woxic just pipping the head. Kalix has been so good in this spot. Multiple rounds now on the CT side. Vitality wants it. Again, they try and adapt to what was the problem towards long, but the problem is here for Eternal Fire. The buy is still coming here for Vitality. It has got a few weaknesses. It's got a Galil in there, but it's not bad. They still have some utility. They've got the AWP and Zywoo's hands. And a bit more of a lean up into the tunnels here. But one of the keys for both of these teams' T-sides is they never really established anything, right? Because both teams have actually gone for quite long, heavy plays. Vitality have been a bit more pensive about it. They've been slower. They haven't necessarily just been getting stuck on in early and as reactive. Oh. Nice nade. Dropping down the back pocket of Dupree, they're down to 50, right? They've been taking their time with it a little bit more, but they still haven't established a default, right? They haven't played this game. They haven't been pulling them back and forth. The pendulum swing, short control, that rotator between mid doors and short, keeping them guessing. They've only really gone for these long plays. They had the B as their first entry round into the gun rounds, and, and that didn't go anywhere. So this is great for Eternal Fire in terms of the flow of the game. If they can delete Vitality in this one, it's going to be a one round game. Didn't think I'd be saying that with that 11-round streak that uh, Vitality had on their CT side. Yeah, from the first half to the second, it absolutely looked like it was a done deal for Vitality. But just like the A-stream, we might be getting a close game here on Dust2. Masuda set up again as the front man in the charge. And Taras, you can see that utility coming towards him. Throws down the Incendiary, but look at that. Masuda's beyond it. He's actually just dived down. He is quick. He is hot in their heels. Can he's he not ready for the it. Way? They're absolutely not ready. Now Woxic alerted to that position, able to recover. But Apex with the mid towards his play, he thought surely would work. But Amor has taken him out with a headshot. And now Zaiwu needing to try and pull it back. Maz just calls off the short side, so they commit to the plant. It is planted for short in this post plant. And now we're at a 3v3. X Flood has to get past Magis here. It's the only way in. He oh, has to, but Kalex has found a headshot on Dupree elsewhere. X Flood, this fight, it works, but Zywoo up against him into the clutch. 
Zaiwu switches out to the right for the low HP of x -Flash. Beautiful. It will best him. Zaiwu easily collects the three kills and closes out the round for Vitality. Yeah, finally a bit of impact here for Zaiwu. It's not that he's been having a struggle some game. Things have really been going Vitality's way up until this point, up until this streak of rounds for Eternal Fire. It's not that the big man's been needed, but right there gets three kills. He was 11 before that, grabs three massive frags, denies that retake coming in from long. And you can see there's all per head to head right here. Opening kills are actually in the favor of Woxic, four to one. Utility damage as well. Zawu hasn't been landing a lick of anything. But that right there is a huge round to win. And off the back of it, Vitality, they understand they've set themselves up on this bit of a pedestal now. If they win one more round here against the Buy of Eternal Fire, they will break them late and they can just dribble Cruise. that ball home. Right? This is, this, yeah, you're right, Cruz. That's what it should be at this point. Just one more round. And that was finally it. They established short control. They did a basic execute onto the site. They didn't even trade efficiently, right? They were down a man and all of that. It was Magis taking out more, trying to get stuck into it, making sure that short play was delayed from x -Flood. Then Zywe from the top of the site gets to. So Vitality, they can confirm this one right here. Quick boost here to set up Zywe. It's actually not extending wide. And falls tight on Glumwoxic. Gets an opportunity there to take out Zywe, but no one goes down in the initial skirmish. I know that there's an AWP in play at least, so I have to be careful about Whoa. this. And just walking straight in the double AWP, and Morn's got the opening. Masuda has to sit and watch. That's rough. That's a rough start here for Vitality, but happily collected for Eternal <laughs> Fire. But Zywu pulls it back. He is starting to ignite towards the end of this. Oh, Apex is wanting to call this fast. You can see here, that yeah, was very, rapid. very intense. Goes through the doorway. And Moore, what is he doing with this orb? It's a risky play, but he's got info from it. He hasn't seen anybody come through it. So Moore's move forward is now confirmed that you can focus on the tunnels entirely. As the target has come through the window. x plays plays from car. And now they can just watch as they cross into the site. They're being lined up on a pedestal here for x Cloud, And he'll take everybody down. Eternal Fire at the ready for the final play of Vitality. Wow, both teams extremely reactive there. Eternal Fire, when they were reactive, they'd go off and get picked one at a time. This was a group effort from Vitality. As I mentioned, you could see the Tent right there between Apex. It was very, very loud the way that he seemed to be speaking. Wanted to get that message across. He did, but they're into the trap. They're into the trap right here. In two rounds, Zataras has responded perfectly. Oh my god! Oh, it's just a feed for a <laughs> Just a little toes out the side there, Yeah, Jan. wow. Okay, we're back down into the doldrums of the buy here. Eternal Fire, just two round game right now. Real opportunity here. Dupree into a hero AK. Expended a lot of cash. Yeah, down to $750 left. It's a max loss in the next, right? So we will be able to buy. They've all kept themselves in that rough range to be able to get those rebuys going. But this double orb setup of Eternal Fire is a problem. Oh, Centaurus using utility. Masuda maybe had a window of opportunity to play forward there. But Vitality, no secret about where they want to go with this one. They want to challenge down on X-Cloud. And he'll start to spray away. Flash is good. Catches him out and he's going to be in. put a lot of pressure on towards the back of Masuda. Now has a chance around the flank. But the distraction has pulled the forces back to focus and Zywu. And he's got an AWP in his hands. When he's got the big green, you can never count them out. And when Magis Deeg and Zywu's kill, surely that's it now for Vitality. How can you risk this if you're Eternal Fire? You have nothing. You have nothing left over. You're going to have to go for the save here. You better hope they don't hunt. They've done such a great job bringing this game back. Kites are spotted one. Does take the head off Masuda here. Does he want to consider this? You can't if you're Woxic, right? You really can't, but maybe Kalix can try and do some damage. But what an explosive play right there. And you can see Zywu, his pathing straight through the smoke, dipping to the right-hand side, getting straight close towards the doors, takes him more out on that rotation in and secures the 14th round right now. It wasn't going to be the easiest, but they make it look that way. Good stuff. It's just these type of rounds, right? You talk about not being able to let them slip for Eternal Fire. These are the type of rounds that they have to be converting. But how do you keep the wolf of the door round after round? It's not easy to do. You can see how easy if one kill comes on through the gap that gets found. Under so much pressure. Not letting up here. Vitality just two rounds away now. Matches. Getting them all to focus up with this next flag. I think at the start, he had a real shot at taking down multiple plates through that smoke. That would have taken the play out of it, but lovely shots from Magisk. Great stuff. And the, the firepower here for Vitality, you, you are going to, to lose rounds like that against them, right? There are going to be little moments you drop the ball if you just call that B play and you aren't perfect in the initial fight. So Vitality have that in the locker. And Zyra always delivered some impact over these last few. Eternal Fire having to go to the timeout. Yeah, it's still patchy, but this hurts the CTs more, right? And, and right here, it doesn't even look like they're going to fully invest right now. Uh, they're actually... Unless they buy in these next 15 seconds, it looks like they're going to take a save. And 
I'll try and invest into the next. Uh, Moore's actually he's invested. On, yeah, he's got a 5-7. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess they're hedging their bets here. It's really going to come down to Woxic to have one of these hero maneuvers. I think Kalix has had a real pop-up here in this second he half. Has. He's come alive massively. A mid-push. All right. Uh, the bomb's again. over towards tunnels. Yeah, bombs and tunnels, and Amor is about to make the play forward to collect that information. Masuda oh. spotted first, immediate headshot, kill for Amor, and now they spotted Dupree. That's information as to the bombs whereabouts with the utility going out low on Vitality. Gonna have to drop that back, because they know they have to cover off Dupree. Wow. Double push into tunnels here as well. Yeah, Amor has justified this purchase, hasn't he? He even gets the AK out of He has the Kevlar to work with here too, and he slinked away. They've given themselves a real leg up in a round like this. Have Eternal 5, this could be huge. They are of the tunnels getting ready for a flash play to put Dupree back in there. Information is in the favor of Vitality now because Eternal Fire don't know what's out long. You can see with their setup here where Woxic is positioned currently over towards the bridge, peering down towards long, trying to set up a bit of a crossfire here with Zantares. So they are so worried about long, but it's all on B and it's an island. It's Kalix. He has to be the hero again. And they have pushed through the tunnels. They've confirmed its clearance and Kalix from Car. How much can you really get from this position? How much are you going to be able to pick up? He drops back, repositions, and the answer is nothing. Magic immediately finds the headshot and now Apex on the backside of play. He'll catch them oh. looking the wrong oh. way and it's one for Apex. The second spotted out there as pushing well. in. He just, oh, oh, oh. oh I saw it on the x-ray. I saw the play from Amor right there. I can't believe he's gone for that. He loves doing that, doesn't But they could have saved that extra rifle. They're going to need it into the next round here, Dinka. They're only getting 1,900 and now they're hunting. Now they just need to take away this AWP and they know where Woxic is. They're oh. about to lose it all. They're going to send everything to get this as well. They know how much this benefit them if they get this AWP out of the round. Walksick under so much pressure, down to 22 HP. Worried about the smoke. Flash goes in, he's dodged it. First shot up on the Apex. Oh, mission impossible really here for Walksick. It feels like a matter of time before he goes down. The amount of bodies that can send at it. Dupree will remove the AWP. And now Eternal Fire. It has to be four in a row to pull it back to just overtime. Vitality looked prime and in poor position to take this one away. Yeah, there was an opportunity there for a moment, right? I, I think here an AWP has been afforded thanks to Kalex, but it started off like this, and then as soon as this kill comes in onto Kalex, right, he's in a very committed position. That's the round done. They should have either looked for exits or saved their weaponry. I understand why they wanted to go for that, because they felt like they had an opportunity, but Zywoo just takes out a more. They're starting in a 4v5 disadvantage now. Yeah, big problems here for Eternal Fire. Kalex tries to make the play forward towards Long to pull it back. Oh, his headshot, lovely, but Dupree, obviously the answer has already been found. There's the smoke out across. They're heading B, though. Dupree is coming through it. We'll remove Zantaras, and yes, through the B side they will go, but x Flower plays inside the smoke. Oh. Spotted on the fadeaway. Sort of happily collects the kill, and now walks in flash. Shot goes down the AWP, but taken down, and Vitality have their win. They will take their second win here in Bucharest, and it's over, Eternal Fire. Yeah, a bit deflating there in the end there for Eternal Fire. It was a great little comeback. We can hear him get loud here, a little, see a little celebration dance there from Dupree. They made them sweat. They forced them to take timeouts. It was a double-digit game. You pressured Vitality, right? With Eternal Fire, this is a good showing, right? Yesterday against FaZe, they got blown out of the water here. They had a really strugglesome first half. They lose 11 consecutive rounds after the pistol with those conversions. Uh, and then uh, they're able to...